Most of Peter Howell's faves from 2017 were surprises but for now here's what he's keenest to check out in the year to come. Movie expectations are like New Year's resolutions. Both frequently result in disappointment, yet we proceed with them anyway. Looking back on my 2017 list of 10 films I was most anticipating for the 12 months ahead, I note that just two of them, Dunkirk and Blade Runner 2049, made it to my top 10 list of favorites at year's end. And at least two others on my list, Wilson and Valerian and The City of Thousand Planets, proved to be critical and box office duds. But let's not dwell on the past, shall we? And let's not for the moment talk about the blockbusters that need no help in getting our attention, a 2018 crop that includes Black Panther, Feb. 16, Avengers, Infinity War, May 4, Solo, A Star Wars Story, May 25th, Deadpool 2, June 1st, Oceans 8, June 8th, Incredibles 2, June 15th, and Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, June 22nd, instead, let's look on the brighter side, most of my faves of 2017 were small gems and happy surprises, which are always good things to find at the movies. Here's hoping for more of the same with my new tally of 10 films to anticipate for the year ahead. They're listed in order of expected release dates, where known, Wildlife, Jan. 20 Sundance Premiere, Release TBD, the actor Paul Dano makes his directorial debut with this screen adaptation, which he co-scripted with his partner Zoe Kazan, of Richard Ford's acclaimed 1990 novel by the same name. Set in 1960 Montana, it's a coming-of-age story of a teenager that visits Ed Oxenbould, seeking to make sense of his family after job loss and infidelity fray the marital bonds of his parents Jake Gyllenhaal and Kerry Mulligan article continued Bella Wild of Dogs March 23rd, a new Wes Anderson movie is always an occasion to celebrate doubly so for anyone who was a fan of his stop-motion animation adaptation role Dahl's Fantastic Mr. Fox, which I loved. New Troopers Brian Cranston, Greta Gerwig and Scarlett Johansson join Anderson regulars Bill Murray, Edward Norton, Jeff Goldblum, Tilda Swinton, Francis McDormand and Bo Balaban in voicing the quixotic quest for a lost pooch by a young boy Canada's Koyu Rankin, First Man, October 12th, Damien Chazelle directs his La La Land star Ryan Gosling in this biopic of Apollo 11 moonwalker Neil Armstrong. As a space geek since childhood, I'd watch this even if it were done with shadow puppets, but Gosling seems an excellent choice to bring astronaut Armstrong's high school determination to the silver screen. The supporting cast also has the right stuff, including Claire Foy, Corey Stoll, Lucas Haas, Kyle Chandler, Jason Clarke and Canada's Pablo Schreiber. Mary, Queen of Scots, November, Lady Bird, Saoirse Ronan plays Mary Stewart and I, Tonya's Margot Robbie as Elizabeth I in this historical drama directed by British theatre ace Josie Rourke, which looks grand just from the trio alone. Add in co-stars David Tennant, Jack Lowden and Guy Pearce, plus a script by House of Cards writer Beau Willimon, and you've got a prestige picture that might well tour the festival circuit this year, possibly beginning with Cannes in May. Bohemian Rhapsody, December, a biopic of late Queen frontman Freddie Mercury has long been discussed and desired, and let's hope that the scandal-tainted departure of director Brian Singer didn't harm the film, which is being guided to completion by Dexter Fletcher, Eddie the Eagle. Rami Malek, Mr. Robot, makes for a captivating choice as Mercury, although he'll have to go some ways to put original hire Sasha Baron Cohen out of our minds. Willem Lee plays lead guitarist Brian May, Ben Hardy, X-Men, Apocalypse, is drummer Roger Taylor and Joseph Mazzello is bassist John Deacon. Rock and Roll Rhapsody a swindle, I'm holding my breath. Black Klansman TBD, wondering what Jordan Peele might do to top his breakout 2017 racial satire Get Out. This may be the answer Peele produces and Spike Lee directs this fact-based thriller of an African-American police detective, played by John David Washington, Denzel's son, who in 1978 infiltrated the Ku Klux Klan to mess up its hateful deeds. Adam Driver, Topher Grace and Laura Harrier, Spider-Man, Homecoming co-star. 
The Irishman, TBD. This Martin Scorsese directed crime opus reunites Goodfellas gangsters Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci while adding Al Pacino, Harvey Keitel, Anna Paquin, and Bobby Cannavale in order to explore the still unsolved 1975 murder of Teamsters strongman Jimmy Hoffa. Consider me intrigued, and let's hope the distributor Netflix eases up on its antipathy to the big screen in order to give this film a decent theatrical rollout before releasing it online. If Beale Street could talk, TBD, writer, director Barry Jenkins has to be feeling intense pressure after the Oscar-winning success of Moonlight, which turned him from unknown to in demand almost overnight. But he has what it takes, and also strong source material in this turbulent story of love in a time of false accusations based on a 1974 novel by James Baldwin and set in 1970s Harlem. The cast includes Kiki Lane, Stephen James, Emily Rios, Regina King, Teleona Paris, Coleman Domingo, Brian Tyree Henry, Diego Luna and Dave Franco. Roma, TBD, not to be confused with the name A City of Fellini's 1972 surreal classic, but likely summoning some of the same furious energy, writer-director Alfonso Cuaron's new drama is set in early 1970s Mexico City. A cast of mostly newcomers star in this year in the life of a Mexican-American family, which reportedly recreates the notorious Corpus Christi Massacre, in which Mexican soldiers gunned down student demonstrators during a march on Corpus Christi Festival Day in 1971. Can the gravity Helmer bring his visual intensity down to street level? The Death and Life of John F. Donovan, TBD, Quebec, Xavier Dolan, Mommy, goes full Hollywood with his first English language film, in both casting and theme. Tinsel fans Jessica Chastain, Natalie Portman, Susan Sarandon and Kit Harrington join with Hollywood North Sarah Gadden, Emily Hampshire and Jacob Tremblay for a drama about the aftermath of a showbiz scandal. Harrington's title character is an American TV star who gets emotionally involved with an 11-year-old British boy, played by Jacob Tremblay as a child and Ben Schnitzer as an adult. The story sounds true to perilous times, will it resonate with critics and movie goats? Peter Howell is the star's movie critic. His column usually runs Friday.